Yes, yes, we're all professionals. <laughs> it's a new year, guys. It's a new year. New you ready? Year, new us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked it all up. I didn't Damn. fuck anything. I said it was your turn. <laughs> no, I'm not rapping. This oh. is new year. We're just happy to that be back. Was... We're back. We made it. Y2K <laughs> didn't happen to 18 years later. Uh, <laughs> AN Radio. That's right. Um, how you guys doing, boys? I'm doing pretty well. Okay, did everybody get Happy so fucked up that they're not going to do anything at all for the next two months <laughs> just to make up for it? You know, it, I, it did take like three days to recover from New Year's. It was like, the older I get, the longer, the longer right. it takes. My name is Michael Gregorian. Welcome to AN Radio. With me, as always, is my trusty horse, Dizzle. Paul Wright. Paul Wright, to my left. And our new Mex... We have two Mexicans. <laughs> uh, as usual, we have Victor... What is it? Slow beans? No, Luke, can you speak Spanish? I cannot speak Spanish. Oh, so there you go. So you're Mexican. Yeah. 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 All right. We always get Mexicans on the show. Right. You know, Mexican right. guys that can't speak Spanish. Mexican. You're a fucking potato so fool. Victor, no, Slow beans, else, Cooking Coconut. Estrada. Coconut. What up? Coconut. And Lou, what's your name? What's your last name, Lou? Lou Marquez. We got Lou, Lou Wayne. Make love to the mic. Lou Wayne. Lou Wayne. All right. Renowned. Renowned ufologist. So the basic MUFON founder. Basically, we're going to talk about. Founder of MUFON. Give me a few weeks. Right? Something like that. <laughs> I have just earned my uh, YouTube uh, YouTube university degree. Uni- exactly. In, in UFOs. I've been riding the UFO <laughs> train right, guys, for... Let's get the train rolling. Now. So we're basically, we're going to be talking about aliens because over the little break that we had, uh, there was the video that came out from uh, Elizondo, a guy that used to be a former FBI agent, and it was on front page news. It was this uh, UFO CNN. alien... So we're basically going to be talking about, you know, what's our favorite subject? What do we get high? We like to talk about aliens and shit, dude. Where did we come from? Where did they come from? Are they still watching us? Do they keep coming back and butt probing us? That's what we want. Me, dude. MK Ultra. And we're also going to be talking about mind Stupid control. Humans. What happened if a Stone Cold ever met a fucking alien? <laughs> what? If Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, met an alien, he'd lace up his boots and take him for a 20-minute no-DQ match at Royal Rumble, <laughs> 1998, Silverdome, Pontiac. God damn it, Steve. Get back in the Steve, cage. Steve. All right. <laughs> yes, Steve Austin and all He just happens home. to come in once in a while. All right. So, basically, uh, there was this disclosure. There's a Okay, let's back it up. Tom DeLong, he has a group of high-level, high-ranking, classified and declassified uh, in from people have information like that, so they've all come together and they've come to form a group. Tom belongs from Blink 182, the band. That's how you got. Yeah, all originally. the I'll get to that. Small, small things. things. So that guy, Tom Long, he's put together a group of people like that, and since he has all this influence from him being a Blink 182 and all this notoriety and fame, he's formed a group to the Stars Academy. And they have a bunch of people that have a bunch of credible evidence that have gone through the declassification process and everything. So they're saying that they're going to start putting out a series of videos that are from credible people, from credible situations. Yeah, they're, they're basically pushing for full disclosure. But the one thing that they're also are trying to do, they want to make money from any of the technologies that come from full disclosure, like free energy, laser moving swords. things, laser swords. Is there going to be a hoverboard finally? Exactly. Yes. Can so I get the hoverboard Insurance soon. on a yes. hoverboard would be insane. So Where this guy is basically on Marty from Back to the Future 3 and Biff at the same time. So he wants to do that. Biffy. <laughs> so uh, we're not going to talk about Pizzagate. Someone has to talk about Pizzagate. But we're going to ask for something. Oh, Pizzagate? Man. No. So uh, basically on CNN, we have uh, right. Tom DeLonge's guy. And he's basically showing a video of uh, what they captured on a um, what was it? it was a, it was a F F eighteen Hornet. So these two very ooh, classified, ooh, technical baby, very good pilots are flying ooh. these F eighteen Hornets, as they're called. On I just keep saying that because I just remember. <laughs> so they're watching. What airplanes were they again? They were F A eighteen Hornets. I think they're ooh, called. Okay, gotcha. Uh, let's see, Tom DeLong. They run a 440 bone crusher right through the. <laughs> I don't know. So look, you think that there's what's your what's your overall th- thought on aliens and all that? While I get this, I there. believe. Well, we'll the go reason here being, Lou Wayne's here is um, I'm kind of balls deep right now in these aliens and the disclosure scientific term and um, so everything people, that Tom DeLong and his uh to to the Stars Academy. What is this to the Stars Academy exactly? Well, it's this. I just said it. It's basically that's what it is an academy. Of his, the way I want to put it is a soft disclosure of the alien phenomenon, the UFOs, uh, Roswell. His group has like, uh, you know, all the secret societies, the, 
you know, the Wait, sha- you mean the, the weather shadow, balloon? The weather know, balloon government thing? that <laughs> nobody likes to, you know, talk about and get into because it is basically opening a can of worms. And, you know, you, once you start going through that paradox, you start putting things together because we are now in a time right now where you have the internet, you have Google, you can research information. Whether or not it's being fed to us is bullshit. You got to kind of decipher and look through, you know, all the interweaving information. Right. Because it's it's a lot. It's, What's, a, it's, it's a lot of information to take. A lot to unpack. So it's a lot to unpack. There's so much. We can probably go on for hours about just one certain thing that happened throughout. Yeah. Um, so you think that by having this soft disclosure, or what, is that the term that you use? Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's a, I'm it's really a soft, stoned. I didn't it's, forget. It's, it's like a soft opening. You know? Right. It's, it's like, you so know. Uh, they're doing that, you think, in a way. For what? How is it detrimental? Who's the people behind it? What do you think that's behind it? Like, what's well, the reasoning why someone it's, would it's do that? It's the masses now that the time that we're living in, mm-hmm. you know, uh, that, okay, let's say back in the 1943s, Roswell, you weren't able to go ahead and just disclose information like that. You know, right. people were going to be going fucking crazy and, you know, hysterical and, you know, every, everything would just fall off the fucking earth. Hey, Stein, yeah. did you hear what so, happened up the road? If, 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 <laughs> if we started, if we started going and letting all that shit out, it'd probably put a lot of people's ideologies, religions. You'll put um, all that in jeopardy. Everything that you've known that you can connect with that identifies you with all the things that we were told, all the things we were taught, it would kind of right. shatter everything. That's kind of what they think that's going to happen on the mass. But, I don't know. I but feel right like now, the the thing he's saying is that we're living in a time right now where people won't even give a shit. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's what, a lot of atheists now. There's a lot of people that question religion. I think there's people that, that fucking well, just care it, about like you know what's going on in social media and all the bullshit that you know they want us to follow the music, the fucking celebrities, so, the icons. You know that's it's it's a pretty much look at the birdie and uh, it, I I think people don't even know about these videos to be honest a lot of people didn't well in a way what they're doing is there is kind of bullshit hold on, I, I have a couple of questions about this now because I, I saw the video what what could, what exactly about the video made it so i saw like it kind of turns or something uh-huh. what that's that's from tom DeLong's group uh-huh. like his his blue have we all seen that video I've, I've, oh, so I'm yeah, trying to pull up, but I'm so stoned I can't find the fucking video. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Why you guys are talking? I'm like, all right, keep talking so I can find up. the video. What's it? Give me the, the, why would it be on thing so we can pull it up on the screen? Because this will also go on. Um, UFO disclosure, uh, 220. UFO, uh, UFO CNN, new video. <laughs> There's like a, a Pictionary game. UFO, look, Blink 182. Look, 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 look. While we try and look it up, all this the small is what things. My, my basic <laughs> thinking on all this is. Disclosure. Okay, by having a guy like this. There can be ways of spreading disinformation along with a bunch of credible information, which makes you in turn question every single piece of information that comes out. So if you've got so a mouth spread a little that, bit of truth with yeah, lies. with like, a lot oh, of lies. Like, so if uh, they put in someone in there that's going to kind of spread the uh, like give you some a fake type of a story, fuck it's Tom in there wrong? to cut kind of, because <laughs> he's put together a group of high ranking blah blah blah. There's a reason why he wasn't invited. Well, why not Tom DeLonge? Like he's a good why puppet. not Tom DeLonge? He's right, he's a good puppet because he's a lot of he's got actually a lot of good people there. Seems skitzy and fucking. But listen, what actually gave all of this credibility is that once they tapped into the Podesta files, you know, the DNC hack, they actually saw, listen, they actually saw communications between Tom DeLong and government officials that's backing up all the bullshit that he was saying. So they gave him credibility because they actually saw that he actually is talking to people of this, of different ranks, and they found it out all con- inconsequentially from the hack who so that got him like everybody looking at him and now he's starting to release the videos which is slowly starting to kind of desensitize everyone then i feel like i may be fucking crazy and i sound like it that all of a sudden we're going to have some sort of a event or something that's going to happen we're all going to look at it and it's going to be that kind of disclosure we've known the whole time guys we've been what fu- is well my, my main uh, question fucking is goats in there okay okay this whatever. is all great but what have Cows. they shown what they is come for your goats we've only seen the beginning is what supposedly oh, is happening yeah. this is one of 20 so i'm um, i'm very skeptical just well, I'm, I'm looking up the video right now i've seen the video we'll and it's interesting it. well i want to see exactly that uh that so video. while we do that you're like is, i love videos of of dots uh, line in the uh, sky uh, the, so this is pretty much like, going to wrap it up for episode can't one. Really tell what it so is. So we're going to go around the room. Vic, how do people get a hold of you? People want to get a hold of you. Is it at glasses tape? It's tape I don't have enough money for at glasses dot com. Show them your tape glasses. Tape glasses. <laughs> That's how poor. Hey, the one story, one? the story of how these got smashed. We'll go into drunk. Um, oh jeez, drunk <laughs> stories. <laughs> what a what? Where would you buy new glasses? My name's at? Tom Stilaro. Oh, and uh, you're probably oh. wondering what the Sorry. heck are oh. these? There it goes. 
Uh, are you listening to? Yeah, if you wanted to get new glasses and you wanted to get them delivered the next day, let's say you use blank Prime, where would you want to go? I think I would go to maybe Amazon. That's oh. right. That's one of our sponsors. That's brought our to bills. you. We're brought to you by Amazon.com. Go to ArmenianNightsRadio.com. Click on the Amazon banner because once you click on the Amazon banner, anything you buy after that, we get a little something, something. You get a little something, something. But you just bookmark it. So every time you go and you buy anything, nothing's going to come out of your pocket. That's a typical Armenian thing. Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen to you. We'll take care of everything. Click on our button. Paul, how can fun. they get a hold of you? Uh, they can get a hold of me by calling me on my phone. No, no I'm not kidding. That. Leave uh, me a message. Paul underscore Nazareth at Instagram.com. You can uh, also check out my Facebook page and my MySpace if you can find it. Because I can't get into it. And it's out there somewhere. When you're out there and you're locked out in certain situations and you have nothing to do, so you want to read something or something like that, what would you find the material that would be on the Kindle? Oh, well, I think I'd go to oh. audible.com. That's right. That's Amazing. our other sponsor. <laughs> audible.com. Go to audible.com slash Armenian Nights Radio and you get one free book and you get a Mercedes Benz. Okay. We, we got a few minutes. So, uh, so far, I don't. Okay. I, so what far, you, I you, haven't you, seen any. Magical alien stuff yet? So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask who who are the people in Tom Long's? Is how is yeah, it I like? I thought there's 12 minutes. You know four, four how, minutes how, how how <laughs> who's in the group? Who's there's, who's running it? Who are okay. these high? Who probably, I hear these stories. So about the number it. one I guy. Well, these seen. these these guys are head officials, or one of them's um this Lou Elizondo guy. There was a CIA researcher that ran, researcher that ran a program. He's the one that. To leak this video. Yeah, not only leaked the video, but he was part of that. Uh, it's really a leak when you the go. The Pentagon that just the Pentagon basically just got disclosed right now of some information that they were doing. Um, they had a research department on UFOs, mm-hmm. and that recently just made New York Times, and it's in the paper, and you can look it up. So right. you you think you think that we're due for the, that they're that I they're think we're prepping due. us I think we're to re- show us aliens? That's what I think also. This is 2018. Why we're getting baby. As the we're, power we're of the church right now, society getting groomed. Yeah. Yeah. They'll exactly. us on the aliens. Exactly. We're getting prepped. Uh, we're, it's, they're it's, prepping it's, us. It's, they're lubing up our us. alien sphincter. Yeah. <laughs> we're a new probe. I mean, we're ready to be probed because it's going to happen soon. So supposedly they're going to come out with all kinds of technology that's going to be like zero point gravity. How do they make money I don't get it. Well, what they're going to do is just like the government does. Whenever you come up with an idea. You strip it for every patent that you can make out of it. (laughs) So if you want to do anything going forward, you now have the rights monetarily going forward, just like anything else. I'm going to get the rights. So their whole idea is that if we have a group of people that's all going to be sitting there, it's going to be sharing a bunch of information, a bunch of declassified information, a bunch of knowledge that not too many people know about that the government's let go. Their idea is that they can acquire all that information. They can kind of dissect it for what it's worth and what they can use for it and then they go out and then it's going to be free to the public so what the whole guise is of it's going to be free for everyone but we're just going to make the money off at the beginning that's kind of how i interpret the whole thing it's like i may be the, wrong the printers and charging for the ink but that's thing. also there's it's kind of like a three-headed thing they do that and it's a way of like soft disclosure like you're saying and it's kind of a way of prepping everybody and it's kind of a way of to leak information little by little all that adds up to uh, you know, a stew, which is <laughs> alien <laughs> disclosure. Can, and you get aliens. Can I say... You want aliens? That's how you get aliens. Can I not, say... Not only that, but I think it's just to overthrow everybody's... All the other secret societies that we don't know about, they're they're all in disclosure the, right I mean, now. we haven't even gotten they're, reptilians No, no they're not yet. in disclosure. They're, they're all kind of like uh, probably nobody sided with other secret governments. So one is trying to overthrow the other in a, in a way they're playing Game of Thrones. Like a little power struggle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like, in a sense, Game of Thrones. So I, I think this government society is using... This is my theory. They're using... Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get into there, we have 45 seconds, so we can't get in. Let me okay, just say, okay, I okay. totally so see why Tom DeLonge wasn't have to on the recent next tour. Week to hear Lou's mm-hmm. theory. I totally see why Tom DeLonge isn't on tour with Blink-182. He's like, <laughs> dude, dude, Tom, just play the fucking song. No, guys. Dude, yeah. do you guys know what's aliens. happening out there? <laughs> aliens, man. I can't aliens, play fucking all the stuff. They want to get aliens. are going to fucking come. Tickets? You want to talk about ticket sales? How about fucking UFOs? If they want to get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? They can get hold of me at, what was this, Lou? L O U underscore uh-huh. Wayne, right. W A N Y N E underscore I N C I N C. That's right. And you can catch himself. all this on of our on our YouTube channel, Armenian Nights Comedy, or you can look up Armenian Nights Radio. You can catch all the videos before. We've got a lot of funny sketches from a long time ago. We've got a lot of the new uh, stuff that's going on. And please go ahead and follow the Network Studios, which is where we're recording this at. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm out. Part, part one. Ready? Now let's get deep. This is part one. Oh, the late.
Lakers. Sixteen people watched that. <laughs>